All right, so one of your main problems, this is your rig. I turned off the forms, is that your rig is not even connected to the adaptive points, right? So it's not even going to follow them. So, um, you know, this whole thing has to be connected to those, and it's not. So I would suggest in the future when you start building that you make sure that these are connected. So I'll pause this and I'll show you how to connect them. All right, to make the line stick, you have to go to reference line and turn on your 3D snapping. Make sure it's set to draw and face and then snap them to these points. If you don't turn on the 3D snapping, it's not going to stick. Don't worry about the slightly off axis. Now those follow, right? So now you go in and do the same thing that we did before. you got to come in and select this plane. And when you select a plane, we're going to draw a reference line on that plane. You want to make sure it's set to draw and work plane and that 3D snapping is off. And then it'll come and you want to draw a line straight up on there. Draw a line straight down from there for the axis. And then we can set right that plane and draw a reference line on the work plane right there vertically place a point host it to get it to host go back to draw on face host on the middle of that now draw another reference line we'll set that plane current Make sure it's drawing on the plane. Snap on that and draw that vertical. Right. And now you'll see if I move these, these are all hosted. So all of that stuff follows. Right. So then you can go in and make this. You want to tab select this guy make that permanent and host a point on that line right there and then this point is this is going to be your H3 so add parameter H3 And go ahead and place a point on that line, place a point on that, place a point on that. This is also going to be H3. This is going to be H2. And then this point distance here is going to be H1 from the base. So I'm just going to go in and go down to normalize curve, change that to segment length, and we'll put that at H1. And then you've got all that set up and you can come in and make your line across there. So you put another, so we need another, so it's going to go this guy. And then you can set up your formulas, right? I can't remember what they were, but I think H2 was H3 or H1 times oh, I don't know, 1.5 and then H1 
and then H3 was H1 times 1.5. This would be 1. Point maybe H1 times 1.5. And this is maybe was 1.15 or something. I can't remember. And hit apply. And then you've got to pick this, 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 create a spline three points. And we'll make that a reference line. Oops. Talk on it. That. 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 And that. Spline three points. Right, make that a reference line. And then draw a reference line using 3D snapping from there to there to there. Right, now you've got everything you need. You pick that, tab select, pick that bottom point, create form, pick the form. Do that to 270. And then pick this guy. Create form. You want a solid. And then you want that offset to be set to H3. Right? And then just pick this and make it into a void. Okay? Now, if you change the parameters, it should work. So, for example, if I change H1 to 2 feet, hit apply, write all of those update. I think this one might have been 2. Let's go ahead and make it 2, not 12, but 2, and apply. Right, so you get that. So, we'll set H1. Let's set H1 to 6 inches and apply. And it should get real low, right? Okay, so... We'll set it one foot and apply. Click OK. Now if I go File New, Conceptual Mass, right, and I'm going to draw a reference rectangle. Reference rectangle without 3D snapping right there. And I'm just going to pick that and create form there and pick that surface and divide it. And we'll change it to six and six just to keep it. Turn on the nodes. Now if I control tab back, load that into project. Family two, one, two, three, four, right? And let's repeat that. All right. If you make it a square, right, it works fine. It's going to get a little wonky if you make it a non-square, right? So if I come in and pick that and go to number 10, number 6, that's pretty close, but you see it's not quite square, so it won't meet at the ends exactly if it's not quite square because it's a revolve around that corner. Okay, so it does need to be square. So, so if I load this into yours, let's load it into your project space, right? And I'm going to overwrite the existing version. And let's just go to a 3D view. All right, and we'll delete this guy. And Let's go ahead and 
pull that family out, which is down here. Family one, one that I was working on, yeah. So let's see if this guy will work. One, two, three, four. So it's just real thick, right? And it kind of went in, if I did it, kind of went in the other way. So, right, so it's just real thick. But it's working, right? So if I pick that, I can go to modify and repeat, and it'll repeat it all the way across that thing, right? And then if I come over here, do the same thing. One, two, three, four, right? Pick that and repeat it, right? It'll repeat it all over that thing. Okay.